Good morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, today, 21st July, we'll talk about a special person, Esther. She is special because in her name, a book in the Bible is written. When we first meet Esther, she is a young girl of marriageable age, living in Mordecai's uh, household. When, is, when Esther is introduced in chapter 2-7, we discover her Hebrew name as Hadassah, which means myrtle. Myrtle means a plant which is evergreen and has uh, medicinal values. And her Persian name Esther means star, which denotes prophetically that she is going to be like a star to the Jews who are living in the darkness of their exile. Esther is a name which has connections with the heathen divinity also. The references to the myrtle in the Bible indicate the Lord's restoring grace to Israel and the complete removal of the curse on them. Her names are so encouraging to the Jews. Prior to any of the details relating to the persecution and deliverance of the Jews being explained, we have the assurance that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men. Nothing happens without his permission. Esther was selected as one of the empire's beauties to be considered by the king as a possible queen. She was selected to be amongst those women from whom Queen Vashti's replacement would be chosen. She was placed in the royal women's quarters to undergo a year of training and beauty treatments. While she was there, she quickly won the allegiance of uh, Haggai, the custodian of the women. Esther's sweet spirit and personality matched her physical attractiveness. Even when Esther had been selected by the king to become his queen, Esther maintained contact with Mordecai and sought his advice. When Mordecai uncovered a, 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 a plan which want, a plot to murder the king, Esther passed the information to the king. When Mordecai informed Esther of the danger of Haman posed to the Jewish people and urged her to intercede with the king, Esther was afraid in the beginning. The king had not called for her in over a month and if she should go to him uninvited, he might be angered and have her executed. After consideration, Esther asked Mordecai to gather all the Jews in the capital city to fast for three days. The implication is that the fasting was intended to enable the Jews to concentrate on their prayers, asking God to act for them. Esther and her maids also fasted. Only when Esther was sure that God's help had been sought earnestly did she risk approaching the king. In the end, Esther found in her faith the courage to approach the king and appeal to him. And her appeal was successful because God was there. Because of the great deliverance she won the, for the Jewish people, her courage is commemorated in an annual celebration called the Feast of Purim. Esther is an eloquent testimony to the providence of God. His presence may not be so evident, but his power is seen as events are controlled according to his purpose. He is silent but never absent. We should all think whenever we pray, God's presence is with us. And whatever we do in his name, for his glory, it will be a success. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about Esther and her accomplishment with your support. Please help us to ask for your guidance anytime we start any venture. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.